Right, let's talk about a, an often asked question that I get, which is what happens when you're broken? How does that um, get affected by area terrain when you come to move it? So let's have a situation where this unit of archers has shot at this unit of uh, crossbowmen here. Uh, they've lost a couple of casualties um, and they've found a morale check and they're broken. So what has to happen is um, they've been pushed back to here. They've failed the morale check. Now they're going to do their movement straight away from the enemy that's broken them. And what happens is they've got an, a four inch move. They'll use an inch of it to move back and then three inches to move back through the uh, rough ground, which is still affecting their movement. So because they're in now, that's 50%, they'll only move back an inch and a half. So reductions in your movement from terrain do affect your broken movement. And likewise, if they fail to rally, they will then be running and their run is also affected by the area terrain. So we'll zoom forward to the next round. They fail to rally. They've got an eight inch run, but they're moving through woods. So that's gonna reduce it down to four. To be classed, as being in terrain, at least the centre, so 50% of your model needs to be within that area. So these guys, although a little bit poking out, they're still classed as being in the cover. Another aspect of uh, linear terrain is when you um, look at combat resolution and um, pushbacks and also its effect on uh, broken troops. So let's have a situation where the archers are shooting at the crossbowmen. They cause uh, two casualties, which means that they would be forced back directly away three inches. But there's a wall behind them. And what that means is they cannot be pushed back over a wall. They're just pushed back to the wall. That's not so much of a problem uh, in missile uh, engagements. But let's imagine that being instead of being shot at and pushed back, They've just lost a round of combat. Same situation, lost two guys and been forced back two inches plus an inch. So they still go back three inches and can't complete it because they've hit the wall. That stops them. Now, a rule within the main rule book says that you are trapped if you end up in a situation where you can't move and there's an enemy an inch away. At the moment, there isn't an, uh, an enemy an inch away, but the victors can always consolidate. So they can then move forwards, trapping this unit of crossbowmen against the wall. If you are trapped, you automatically take a casualty. So they will lose another one. And their morale dice goes up from the two that they've lost to the three. They would then need a morale check, modified by the three. Let's imagine they fail and they are now broken. When you are broken, you move directly away your full move. With a break, you can move over a linear obstacle, but it's gonna take the two inches off you. So they would move away 
instead of the full four, they've moved back four minus the two, they're moving back two inches. So that would push them to here. So that's your linear obstacle with movement after combat and also failing the morale. We'll now look at um, buildings uh, which are impassable when it comes to being pushed back into them or indeed in uh, that classic case of uh, overcharge with mounted knights. So let's have these knights attack these sergeants. They can play on any workout you combat and let's say two of the sergeants have been killed. You always take from the front of the combat, so these two guys are dead. They're pushed back three inches, which brings them to here. Now, knights on more horses then have overcharge. Now, with overcharge, they're going to come out of the back of the unit, so they come straight through in a straight line, they come back out of the unit after they've been pushed back, and they come back through the two, inch, uh, two inches for the casualties that they've caused, plus a die six. So they would overcharge three out of the back. Unfortunately, there is now a building which is impassable terrain to them so they come out of the back and slam into this builder and when you uh, it's impassable terrain with an overcharge you are trapped and you lose not a wound you lose a casualty and seeing as these guys are two wounds apiece that's quite an expensive hit so they would lose a guy and they've hit the building, there is not enough room to place these guys. So what has to happen is you can't leave the building, that would be crazy. You just shuffle these guys forwards to make room to allow the remaining knights to fit in while still allowing an inch between units that you must always try and keep. 